right, hi everyone, it's Diane. And um, I just wanna say, first of all, thank you so much to everyone who participated in the giveaway responses, because I really, really enjoyed reading them. And um, I, uh, it, was, it was so difficult, because when I read them, I actually thought, I just want to give something to everyone. So I'm really sorry I can't at the moment, but thank you to all the new subscribers as well, and thank you to everyone who commented. There will be more giveaways in the future. And, um, I just feel that there is this uh, it, there is this lovely loop of giving and receiving because I know it looks as if I'm just giving things away but now we also have this lovely resource that I would encourage you all to enjoy which is a whole list of people talking about their oracle cards the ones they really enjoy and um, and what they enjoyed about them so go ahead and copy and paste that and keep it and I have to say I've really enjoyed reading them so thank you for giving that and um, it was difficult to choose um, gosh but these are the three that I chose in the end I chose Aga because um, I'll read you her response and you might see what I mean so um, she says thank you for the giveaway offer um, I only have one deck of cards it's um, orb cards by Diana Cooper and Kathy Crosswell. I got it because I needed a very gentle um, guidance and upliftment at the time as I was very sensitive and could only see guidance in the most positive, gentle and light inducing way. And I love that because I know a lot of people are in that place. And you know, yes, there's a place for everything. There's a place for tarot. There's a place for being able to explore the shadow. And you know, all of those things are important. And yet people who are in that place of exploring those things are not always, you know, we can see both sides um, but people who are in that place are not always aware that there are at the moment on the planet people who are acutely so acutely sensitive that looking at difficult images on the television or in oracle cards or in books or whatever is actually really challenging <laughs> for them and you know if you haven't been there or if you're not there I know it can probably be hard to understand it I have been there myself most of my life I think it's something that's that comes naturally with being an empath, being a healer in particular, in the sense that you are feeling the vibrational universe in a very direct and powerful way. So it's not just looking at pictures for you, and it's not that you're afraid of embracing your shadow or acknowledging the darkness. It's just that you are actually so acute, acute, acutely aware of all of it that you have to find ways of being very gentle with yourself while you're on that pathway way to learning how to deal with all of it and there is a reason that you are here if you're watching this and you are one of those sensitive beings it's okay to be the way that you are we are all naturally sensitive it's just that the rest of the world has learned how to toughen up and um, and get through stuff so this is the way that we're going this sensitivity this awareness of the invisible universe and so it's a part of the development journey and a part of the awakening journey to be very sensitive so i just want to say if you are one of those people that is a lovely deck for you to have a look at and you can go back and look at all the answers um below that video and you'll see what i'm talking about so thank you so much alga for contributing that and i will be sending you um the unicorn deck because you've said you know you have one deck and because I love that answer and because I know you'll enjoy that deck as well. And I know also that you're, you know, that was a phase that you were going through and that, you know, we're working together. And, you know, I know that that sensitivity isn't um, an issue in the same way. However, right, let's just read the rest uh, of what you say about that deck. Each card has an orb on it and the beings associated with it are written underneath. So I got to know many light beings through them and I'm happy and grateful for it. Okay, love, love, love to you too, Aga. Thank you so much. And the second person, I must hurry up now, is, um, so, right, so having decided I want Aga to have the unicorn deck, um, it was interesting how I got to the other two people. So I got Angel Steve because you just said I would love a copy of Letters to Lightworkers. And I thought that was just really direct. I was also really grateful that you mentioned Letters to Lightworkers. And I thought, well, you know what you want already. And then you said your favourite Oracle deck is the Archangel deck by Doreen Virtue. That's one of my favourites as well. I say that about all of them, but that was the one that I used to do all of my readings with for quite a long time until I started to get other decks. So they're a big favourite with me. And um, 
but really uh, I like it that you've made my job a lot easier because I was thinking well does everyone want oracle cards because everyone's sort of mentioned oracle cards but you asked for letters to light workers and you will get it and the third person thank you for contributing and um, by the way thank you to everyone no one was wrong because it wasn't really a competition I just felt like you know this would be a nice opportunity to share and I will be doing more in the future and these answers weren't chosen because they were the best answers they were chosen because it just felt right and I just went with it and in Ron's case it was actually um, not so much because I was trusting my heart it was I was trusting your guides because your guides were um, uh, let's not say insistent your guides asked me to let you have something to uplift you a little bit and apparently you've been asking your guides please show me that you're actually with me show me that you can support me in my journey show me that you know you can you can help me and uh, and that I can put my trust in you so um you can either confirm or deny that, but I felt that quite strongly, and I felt that, uh, so I felt I wanted to give you something to um, restore your faith in them and to give you that confirmation as well. And that isn't to say that, you know, we can ask our guides for anything and they'll do it. You went to a higher place and you didn't say, let me win, you said, um, can you show me in some way that you are able to support me? on my journey and they love that and they want to do that they want to show you and um uh, you have uh, talked about your favorite deck i am actually going to give you letters to light workers though because i do feel that that is the thing that will really uplift you that will give you um what is being asked of me to pass on to you so that's it those are the three people thank you again to everyone for all the love for all your comments for all the sharing of the videos for coming and watching every day i so appreciate it i can't tell you how much and um, and i'm really enjoying connecting with you again and i love being back again doing the videos despite the technical issues which are resolved now and i'm constantly trying to evolve that and to improve things the sound and the light and thank you for all your comments on that as well you know I think we're there now um, so that's it keep enjoying angel hugs and keep in touch and stay subscribed because there will be more okay thanks bye